Okay, my friends, Earth is in trouble. That's no question about it. And they have a major conference going on. All the world countries are saying we're all in trouble. It's not just one. It's all of us. And some of the poorer countries are just absolutely desperate right now. And I think I have a solution. They say if we can do this, what we just did right here, we could create, we could create free energy. And I believe we can. This is what we want to do is create an energy. The, the more luminous this is, the more energy there is. There's a ton of energy here. And we can shoot that energy down and collect it because it is, it's electric energy. It's really, it's, it's electron showers. They're electron showers. They're showers of electrons. That's what you need to do work is showers of electrons. And we are doing it for free with our laser through a Venturi. And we should be able to, these are things are off the shelf. The Venturi is literally free. These collectors are basically something that's well known. And then the regulation circuits are very, very simple. And we could put it into something like this. And, and have this would be enough to power a car, a house, a boat. We're going to need all, every bit of energy we can get. As if, and, but it's got to be free. And this is it right here. Stuff is off the shelf, needs to be engineered, put together, and within a couple of weeks to a couple of months, off to the races. You saw the luminosity I just showed you. This is exactly what it is. Luminosity is the measure of the number of potential collisions per surface unit over a given period of time. It is an essential indicator of an accelerator's performance. Our performance is not only outstanding, it's focusable. We can squirt it. We're just not having these gigantic explosions from protons. This is something that could possibly save our Earth, and it needs to be looked at instantaneously. We're in very, very deep trouble. Okay, here's the conference they're doing right now, United Nations Climate Conference, Climate Change Conference. And this is right now November 8th. They're supposed to be having a live blog. If anybody can put this information into these people's hands, I have a very hard time communicating with people uh, for a number of reasons. But I'm certainly able to, to help if we can use this technology. And I believe this will work. There's no reason whatsoever. When you see that luminosity, that's an increase in energy. An increase in energy means that we have taken the original energy and pumped it up. Now, if we can put a little bit of that back and keep it going, we have a ton of excess. And we're going to have a ton of excess. These are the two smallest particles that have ever been seen, which is, these are, this, this is called a fixed particle, and this is called a point particle. We have found them using light, not gigantic crushes of, of protons. So we have found them, and they together make up photons. They are nothing more than bar magnets, and they can literally separate. And we did that by accelerating them into a Venturi. What happens is the light wave starts to accelerate. Actually, light accelerates, and it did. It's accelerating, and then all of a sudden, right here, it's being pushed back at by its crushing back and forth. It's almost like it's a pulsation of a laser. It's a pulse laser. So it's going boom, 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 boom. So when it does that, it's creating a bounce here. And those particles are bouncing back and concussing with the particles coming in, turning them into neutrinos. This is where you get the neutrinos going almost exactly the same speed as light, which they were before. We accelerated them, and now they're slowing down. So they may be under the speed of light here, but here I think they're over the speed of light. Over here, because this is an unusual Venturi. This has never been done before. They wanted to do this at CERN, and, and now they are trying to do it, but they're still using protons, and they still agree with the standard model, which doesn't work. The standard model says that the nucleus is a big positive. It's not. It's a dipole. It consists of these particles. That's what they smash out of the nucleuses, is the muon electron neutrino. I'm showing them here. So they're dipoles. There's no question they're dipoles. You can see them right here. And they're attached, but they will separate. Alright, so this is this is on the shelf ready to go. 
and it's it, it's being fought back against because it changes the nuclear model into what I call the dipole the dipole electron flood model, which is right here. All right, it says that everything there is is made of these two particles, and a proton is not a ball like that. It is a ball of these electrons. And there's a frequency in the universe that makes them stable at certain frequencies, which is called the periodic table, periodic frequencies. But instead of hydrogen being one of these and a little electron, it's a ball of these, which is 1835 or so. And then one more electron wants to get in and it says, no, we have enough, stay away. Don't, don't, you can stay a certain quantum out. And the bigger they get, and I mean they get big, 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 with quantum numbers are huge, because they throw in a lot of neutrons as well. See, now I'm getting too little confusing for the average person, but trust me, this is the new atomic model, and this is what it's getting fought back so hard against, because the, the standard model does not work. It, it never did work. One gigantic positive in the center and a bunch of little negatives are surrounding it. They just snap right in. And everything that I show, I can show, happens according to electron flood theory. There's no, there's chemistry, everything. Heat, light, energy, it all is the same. And it's all created from these two particles.